And you jump up. Um, just for the record, I have my notes here, so that's why I'm using my phone. Sorry. Um, how many of you guys recognize this this image? Not the cat. The other one. Oh, you guys are old, like me. <laughs> so to give you a background about myself, it's the Windows XP background. I like these kind of puns. Uh, so I graduated from NUS. Uh, this was in 2011 from computer engineering. Uh, spent one year overseas on an exchange program in Silicon Valley. That's where I sort of got the entrepreneurial bug and I wanted to do a startup uh, completely irrational, uh, but that's what I did after NUS. Um, I did a startup that failed pretty miserably. Sorry, can you go back? This? Yeah, back. Um, so when I want to click, I'll shout Shilpa. Okay. okay. Um, so I did a startup uh, right after college, which didn't do well. Uh, then I ended up uh, winding that down, joining Redmart, the e-commerce company in Singapore that does groceries, until it got acquired by Lazada and Alibaba. So I learned a lot of things there. Um, and I'm not really, and now obviously I'm doing another startup, but I'm not here to talk about that. Um, the main thing I want to talk about is this, which is the first startup that I did, and you know, since it's about fuck up nights, this is one of my fuck ups. So I want to share about like why did this startup fail, right? Uh, so what was Shutterpair? So this was, um, you know, right after right out of college, uh, it was a photo sharing app. Um, it helped you, like let's say if you go for a wedding or if you go for travels, it'll help you combine your photos that you take with your friends in one place, right? Sounds like a pretty cool idea. We did it because when we were traveling in US as part of the exchange program, we took a lot of photos and always it got lost, right? Uh, we assumed that because we wanted it, everybody else wanted it, but in the end, nobody wanted it, right? Um, and you know, you know like, like our, our friend earlier, we got press, you know, it was in Tech in Asia, so we felt like, yeah, we've made it. Um, but there's tons of reasons why we actually failed miserably. Here's the first one. That's my family. Like, I love my family. My family loves me, and I'm incredibly grateful for all their support. But one of the things that they did, um, I mean, I'm not faulting them, it's just uh, something that I learned in hindsight. They want, like your family and, and people who love you, they want you to be successful. So they'll always be telling you positive things. So when, when we launched Shutterpair, and I told my family and my friends, like, hey, this is the photo sharing app. They're all like, oh, yeah, this is awesome. This is the best thing ever. Uh, nobody used it. Uh, <laughs> my mom was like my, the, the most active user, and she doesn't really know how to use a phone. Um, so that, that was lesson number one, right? Listen to the right people, talk to your users. Um, as much as possible, avoid telling your friends and family what you're working on if you're doing a startup, because they will tell you this is the best thing in the world, but actually it's not. You want people to tell you why it's not a good idea. Uh, next mistake that we did, um, and this was like, how, how many of you guys heard, how many of you guys and girls have heard about like lean startup, um, or like the idea of like uh, pivoting, finding your, your um, hypothesis, putting out there in front of customers, testing, validating, iterating. So we did that for Shutterpair. But we missed out one key ingredient, which is talking to customers, right? So, like, we thought we did, and we like we, we would talk to our friends, we would talk to our family, right? Back to the previous point, but they're not the end users. Um, and what what would happen? Like a typical day in that startup would be, you'd come into work, uh, we would, you know, think of a hypothesis like, oh, why is this not working? We'd build it, and then we'll change the product. And then one week later, we realized, oh, it's not working, and then we'll do it again. So we just constantly kept pivoting, 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 and in the end, we couldn't, you know, that's one of the reasons why we failed. Um, Shilpa, uh, we wish we did this, you know, we, we were literally like, I'm not listening, not listening. We got pretty good, I mean, we had advisors back then. Um, one of the advisors, like the first time we told him what we're doing, he said, stop, like, stop wasting your time. There's so many freaking photo sharing apps out there. Like what, the, like, what are you doing wasting your time? But, but we are like, no, you know? We, nobody has owned the market. Uh, in the end, we got owned by you know, Facebook, WhatsApp, Dropbox, you know, big players with lots of money. We were okay product, 
uh, in a very very crowded space. Um, so we this is something that you know one, another reason why we feel it's important to um, you know, you'll get a lot of advice for whatever that you're doing, whatever you're trying to achieve. One hard part is getting past your own distortion field. Like you you somehow feel that um, yeah he can he's nodding because he has it as well. Um, yeah, so you, you, you sort of feel that it's, no, this doesn't apply to me, right? I, I have a vision of the future, and it's, you sort of surround yourself in this bubble. And it's hard, it's really hard to dissect which, which advice you should listen to and which advice you shouldn't. Um, so, sadly, I don't have an answer, uh, but I wish we had listened to the right advice back then. Another reason why we failed. Um, like, you know, most people would tell you that, you know, if you have a team full of coders, you're solid, right? You have, like, the most important thing, especially in a tech company. So we were all engineers, and we would just come in, we'll write code, nobody would do BD, business dev, nobody will talk to users, we'll just ship out feature after feature after feature. And that's another reason why we fail, because, like, you know, understanding your customers, building for them is the most important thing. Um, Coding or technology is just a means to get there. This is something that we didn't understand. Um, uh, one another thing that I learned, like in retrospect, why we did this. Sometimes even now, like why we tend to do coding or whatever else is, we tend to do things that we are comfortable with, right? Like we, I was good at coding, so were the other guys. So we like anytime we face with a problem, ah, let's just ship out a new feature that will solve it. Uh, so. That's something that I think very hard about nowadays. Um, like, am I, I constantly ask myself, am I doing this because this is the most comfortable thing for me to do right now? Um, like, I don't like doing sales. I don't like doing accounting. Like, we have a end of financial year and I have nothing, no idea how to do accounting, but I have it now. Um, it sucks, but that's one of the lessons that I learned from this. Um, yeah. Next. Money, um, I, we're not as bad as you. I mean, we were not homeless. Uh, but even then, like uh, surviving on $100 per month, $200 of a month doing this, you can only do it for so long. Um, so we were, we were super bullish when we started it out. Like, yeah, we don't need money. We just like, you know, you just go gung ho. But you can do it for a while. Um, and especially if you're doing, if you're working on an idea or a company that's not going to generate revenue from day one, um, bootstrapping is okay for a while, but you need to be able to, you know, find some funding or generate revenue. Other, otherwise, it's hard and you will burn out, which is what happened to us. Okay. Um, okay, so this one is more a little bit about regret. Um, so... This is obviously a picture of a graduation uh, from NUS. Um, when I came back from, from the one year program and I was so engrossed in like wanting to do a startup, I literally gave up on everything in terms of studies. I wouldn't pick the modules that I know I can get an A, I'll pick the ones that uh, I enjoyed, which you know, that part is good, uh, but, the, but I didn't really work any hard about getting good grades. And uh, that's still okay, but as a result of not working hard on those and working on this startup on the side, uh, my grades really plummeted. And then, you know, I was still in school back then, uh, and I felt like my parents would not be proud of my grades. So I actually didn't sign up for the graduation. Like, I skipped the graduation completely. And this was like the one time where uh, my parents were so upset that my mom actually cried. Um, so. The takeaway for this is, you know, like the same friends and family who care about you and support you, um, sometimes you've got to think about them as well. Um, and I was honestly just thinking all about, um, you know, wanting to do my startup so I can forget about studies because that's not important. Um, and I should have thought more about my parents in that case. So this is more of a regret. Um, one thing that, that I would say a benefit of uh, you know, doing a startup or just going after something that, that you care about, um, in my case at least, is 
you know, through the experience of, of doing Shutter Pair and then subsequently joining Red Mart, um, I got to learn a lot more about myself because I was pushing myself to do things that I wouldn't usually do. Um, so what, through, through that process and through working with all those people who are like, sort of like like-minded, I figured out that some traits about myself, which is, you know, I like to start things. Um, and there's more or less three things that I really care about. Um, so one thing is, you know, the people that I work with is very important for me. Uh, the other thing is, you know, I like technology. I'm a, I'm a geek, so it has to be something around that. Uh, and the last thing is that if I'm going to spend all my time uh, majority of my hours in the day or for my working career it better be something that I'm passionate about right and I l loved my time at, at Redmond it was an awesome team it was working on technology I learned a ton but uh, at the end of it it didn't inspire me because it, like I wasn't like, passionate about getting you helping you get your groceries delivered fast right <laughs> I mean this is just something that I, that, that I uh, learned about myself, right? Um, so I thought about, okay, so what, what is it that I really care about? Uh, and a lot of times, at least for me, maybe it's for you as well, is going back to your history, going back to your childhood. Uh, what was the thing that, that really, you know, that you resonate with? And for me, it was sports. Uh, like I was the guy that uh, will tell my mom that I'm in school, but actually I'm playing soccer. Um, like... She would all like when I come back home. She'd be like, "Why? Is, what are, what's going on in your classes? How come your shoes are always dirty? And how come you're always so smelly from coming back from your lessons?" Um, but I was the guy who who played a lot of sports and would rally everyone to play. Uh, so the, I, the 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 only thing that was missing was you know, you you can combine technology, passion, people, but the most important other thing is whether somebody other than you wants it or not. Like, do other people want it or not? So that's what I'm working on now. Uh, and so far, so good. Like, hopefully I don't have to come up and say this is a fuck up in a couple of years' time. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, with this, like, with the benefit of the, exp the, the fuck up with Shutter Pair, right? There's so many things that we learned that I'm now applying here. So the silver lining is that even if you fail, right, you will learn a lot of things along the way. Um, so like for example, for, for Rovo, uh, I never told, and even my co-founders, we never told anybody that we were working on this for like six months or seven months. And then uh, the, nice, the, the really, really nice feeling one day that I got was um, I was going to play tennis with my brother-in-law. Uh, and he, met, he told me on WhatsApp, they say, hey, you should download this app. This is really awesome for finding people. And like, yeah, if, you, if on, on some days where I can't make it, you can use the app. I'm, I'm not making this up. This really did happen. And then I said, yeah, that's cool, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, this is what I'm working on. And he was, no way. This can't be true. Um, so, yeah, that's the last piece of bit that I have to share. Uh, but yeah, don't, don't, don't worry about failure. Like, you, you guys obviously know that because you're here, but <laughs> just, yeah, keep at it. And we will keep at it, and I will try not to come up here and fail about Robo. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.